Welcome back to Fishing Planet. It's been a very long time since I played this game. I've had lots and lots of comments coming in. I've had messages on Xbox asking when I'm next going to play it. I put out a poll asking what you guys want to see and the majority of the votes went for Big Fish. So that's exactly what we're going for. It's going to be a gigantic challenge. I don't know if I'm going to land any of these, but we are going to head over to North Carolina at the level 10 river. Our target species, I wouldn't mind hooking onto a flathead catfish, but the main fish we're going for is the long nose gar. These go up to unique, and I believe right where we are fishing, they grow up to the size of like 20 pound plus. If for any reason we do hook onto a flathead catfish, these go like 30 pound upwards. They can obviously be a lot smaller, but I think the trophy size of these is around like 30 to 36 pound or something. And looking at my gear, I'm definitely not set up for this, but I didn't want to grind, like I can't be bothered going back to Emerald Lake, fishing walleye over and over and over and over again, just so that we can save up enough money to buy loads of gear. So if need be, I'll get some bait coin and buy some premium items. If not, I'll end up going to the Microsoft store and buying myself a bundle where you get some good rods and stuff. Because I honestly think this stuff I have is going to snap and it's going to be an expensive setback. Like very, very expensive. So the setup we're going for is the 12 foot 10 all round rod. We've got the simple bell one that has extra high sensitivity. Then we're using the crawfish and these things per bait is one bait coin. Because I'm not a high enough level to buy them with cash or bucks, I have to use bait coin. And for five crawfish is five bait coin. I bought myself 10, so that was quite an expensive purchase as well. I've got the 4 hooks because I've never really looked into long nose gar. And apparently they take these size hooks. You can do quite well using these. I've looked up a couple of different spreadsheets, I've watched different videos and stuff, so I'm hoping that we can hook onto one. I've got the Mono Leader 0.008, which has a 9.7 pound test, so anything over like 10 pound is going to be a bit of a struggle. I've got the half ounce sinker, I don't think the sinkers make a difference. Then we have the Braid 0.007, this only has an 8 pound test. If I was to run fluoro line, I'd probably get a higher test, but... I'm just running what I have, just to test it out, because you never know what's going to happen. I'm hoping my gear doesn't just get demolished by these fish. Then last but not least, we have the Feeder Force of 5000. This is actually quite a tasty little reel. It's got a max drag of 9.5 pound. It's quite a heavy reel, like it's got some good durability to it, so I can use some of the higher level stuff. But if we quickly pop to the shop and we have a look... This reel has cost me nearly 6,000 bucks. I only have 13 and a half thousand. So if a fish comes along and it's really, really heavy, it smashes my reel to pieces, that's a six grand setback. So I'm really not confident with this at all, but you guys have asked that we go for some big fish. I don't mind if the stuff does snap. I'm willing to pay some real money to get some gear. I'm not fussed about that, but it's gonna be a challenge. It should be a laugh. And I'm just hoping we can at least land one fish from this video. So let's buy the license, let's pay for the travel costs, let's get ourselves fishing. As much as I appreciate it, I don't think a thousand bucks is going to help us out at all. We've got a bite. Okay, let's fish on. And I'm a little bit scared. I have no idea what this is. I'm pretty sure it's not a long nose gar. But the bite was fairly quick. That is a gar. It's a 5.1 pound. And just the fact that that's taken durability off my rod, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't like what I'm thinking is going to happen with this session. I'm going to keep it because I can. It's not a lot of money, but... It's something. What I'm going to do is actually skip forward until around 11 a.m. Because if we look at the forecast, it doesn't really pick up until the afternoon. Okay, you'll see now that it looks much better on the activity chart. Even though we got a bite, I get a feeling that 
The more activity in the area, the bigger the fish. And I shouldn't be using a feeder rod. It should be... Something that gives me the ability to use a float. Because we're still sat on the bottom with this. We've got another fish on. It's not actually going that bad so far. I think the rod I'm using would be better for catfish. Because they're bottom feeders. Long nose gar tend to stay closer to the surface. So I think I've actually got the wrong setup for this. But we're still catching fish. That's all that matters. And here we go. It's another long nose gar. It's a little bit better. We 6.1 pound, and I can still keep it. Oh my god, the tension on that bite. That was insane. I don't think this is going to be any bigger than we've already caught, but that took a nice bite. Come on, there we go. 5.9 it's not bad if that's 5.9 i dread to think what it looks like when you have a like a 20 pounder i have been sat here for a while now and that is the first nibble and this one feels a little bit bigger come on in you come 65 feet i don't think it's double figures but it does seem a nice size. I'm not sure how my durability or my gear would cope with a double figure fish. Here we go. Six and a half pound. It is not drastically bigger, but it's a new PB. 35.7 inches nearly. Is literally all about where you cast. I had cast over to the left hand side to the right. And I had nothing in literally like 15 minutes. And as soon as I cast in between the two trees. The ones that like where my rod tip is pointing now. I get a bite within seconds. And I'm actually going to make this the last fish of the video just because I've only got five crawfish left. £4.7. It's not bad. We can keep it. 31.7 inches. 106 bucks and a little bit of XP. The XP is not great with these. But we're going to keep it £28.5 worth of long nose gar. And that is not bad for a little session. £650, we'll round it up for five fish. Smallest fish being £4.7, the one we just caught. Biggest being six and a half. They range from, we'll say, 50 to 70 XP for the baby long nose gar and in between 100 to 150 bucks so they're not bad at all if we was for example if you could get a 19 and a half pound it would be three times the size of our biggest therefore it'd be about 200 xp and it would also be about 450 bucks although i wouldn't be able to keep it i'd get the xp from it it would be quite a good fish to catch i believe that is the biggest fish i've ever caught in this game six and a half pound it is by nearly two and a half pounds. So that's an absolute monster of a fish for me. They obviously get like humongous compared to what I've caught. But I don't know. I just can't seem to hook onto the big fish. So if you guys have any tips for me, let me know in the comments. And that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.